Assalamualaikum. Welcome to Nasir Shop. In this video, we will talk about how to connect AM charts graph with MySQL and PHP by using Ajax JSON. So the prerequisites are: I assume that you have install of uh, VAM or XAM server. If you want to install VAM or you prefer XAM to VAM, it's upon your choice. Okay. So you should know about basic of MySQL, like basic queries, like fetching data uh, from a MySQL table. If you don't know, I will explain to you. Don't worry. And you should know about the basic of PHP. So in this video, we will make a project. The project is very simple. That showing the top nine countries of world population of the year 2019, 2018, and 2017. So on the above, on the top of the project, there is a selector. By default, the selector is of uh, the current year that is 2019 and the graph uh, will showing the top nine countries of world population if you want to see the uh, top nine uh, nine countries of the world population in 2018 then you will change the selector from 2019 to 2018 if you change the selector from 2019 to 2018 then it will show the uh, graph according to the year after completing this tutorial you will learn about uh, first how to download and use of AM charts as we will go to the uh, AM charts official website and choose a graph and prepare this graph according to our project and then we will create a MySQL table and insert the data in MySQL table and connect this table to MySQL, uh, MySQL table to our AM charts by fetching the data from the table to AM chart and then we will convert the data to JSON format as the graph uh, input of the graph as the graph want uh, the data from JSON format so after that we will use the Ajax in graph on the basis of different selector uh, which I talked before uh, we will using the Ajax by changing the selector we will showing the graph according to the selector so hope uh, you will understand and this is very simple I will explain to you all the thing our agenda is very simple in the first part of this tutorial we will talk about to preparation of the code first we will download the graph code and libraries and setting the libraries according to our project as initial the graph have static data so we will set the graph so that all static data will showing accordingly in the second part of this tutorial we will create a mysql table insert the world population data inside this table write the database script for fetching data from database and convert the data to JSON format as for the input of the graph and in the last of this part of this tutorial we will showing data of current year that is 2019 in the form of the graph in the last part of this tutorial that is the most conceptual part and in this one we will adding a year column in table and uh, we will create a selector according to the year at the top of the project then we will learn about the ajax and on the change of the selector we will show the data according to the selected selector year and in the last we will also add the 
export items of the graph for example if you want to print the graph or you uh, or you want to export the graph as an image or pdf format then we will also add the graph export libraries so to downloading the source code go to the am charts official website and go to the demo inside the demo you will see the various graph you will choose what graph you want but in this tutorial I will choose the pie chart that is inside the pie and donate tab and the the graph that I will use that is 3d donate chart click on this one And you see that this graph is showing in live server and the source code of JavaScript is here we will download or copy this source code and inside our project that we will create we will paste this code and run that file okay or you can also if you not see the graph you will also uh, see the URL that is above copy and paste this URL in your browser this URL is also showing inside the this video uh, description okay now uh, I go to my uh, VAM, ZAM server if you are using your uh, ZAM uh, or VAM server so go inside the www or htdocs so I am using the ZAM so I go to the htdocs and here I create a project folder just go to the new and create a folder and name the folder to simple pie charts okay so folder is created and now here I uh, create the PHP file so I am using the Dreamweaver as an editor so you you will also use uh, the Dreamweaver or any editor you want it's upon your choice so I go to the Dreamweaver and here I create a new file that is PHP file inside my uh, project hierarchy okay so here I just paste the whole code of JavaScript in HTML and paste inside this my new created file copy this one and go to the file and here paste all the code and save the file inside the uh, project directory the project is that is simple simple pie chart and here the file name for example this is main file then main dash graph save this one so you see that the main graph.php is saved so now I check whether it is working or not so go to the browser and enter the uh, the file path from localhost okay so localhost and then our pro uh, project folder name that is simple dash pie chart and inside the that is main graph.php okay then you see that all the code is working perfectly and graph is loaded and all this data is come from the 
this code that is statically okay so our first part is completed and the source code will work perfectly okay now you see that all these three javascript files path are comes from the live server that is amchart.com inside this one that first core dot js second one is charts dot js and third is animated okay so first we will go to this link and download this file these uh, three files code and place them in our local directory okay for example i here i created a new folder and give him a name that is libraries and paste all these files inside the libraries and load from our local server so first i i go to copy the first link okay that is core.js link and in our browser paste the code then now copy the whole code and inside your library directory create a new file that is core okay a javascript file basically so first copy the whole code and here create a new javascript file and paste all the code inside this one and save the file inside the libraries of your project and name that same that is core okay when i save dot js extension will append automatically okay because this is javascript file okay now now when you see that the core dot js is created now just inside the main graph okay change the link to our to your local local host that is okay just copy the link of localhost project and paste here okay inside this one a uh, file that is libraries so folder name that is libraries i mentioned the path full path and inside the library there is code js okay so the first code dot js is now inside your local server okay not this file is loaded now from live server it is lo uh, loaded from a local server just do this same thing for the below two links okay just check the library spelling is correct or not okay now do the same thing below for the two chart.js and animated.js okay just copy the second one and paste inside your browser and copy the whole code and create a new file and paste them inside a new file and change the url of the script file okay same mechanism i will repeat the file name that is charts and change the path just for copy and paste so simple <clears throat> copy uh, the third one and paste and the same mechanism uh, copy the whole code of this animated.js file and create a new javascript file inside your libraries folder and name that one animated.js and paste the code to this newly created animated.js file and save okay now the file is created and just give it the local host path
save the file and on browser reload now you see that your project is working perfectly and all the javascript libraries are now located inside your local uh, hierarchy and now this project uh, is completely inside your local okay now the all the data comes uh, from the uh, javascript file statically so that's all about uh, in this tutorial in next video we will continue from here and hope this video will help you a lot subscribe my channel if you want uh, for more videos thanks for watching see you in next video allah is